So as we can see here, let um, this code here is is this game. This is an example from Pygame. I just made some little changes, and you see you get this square that you control, and that has to go here on the red one, and then everything uh, ends. So let's see how this one this one is done. Uh, we got a class here. And um, this class player, it has it has this um, these methods. Let me delete these comments that because they are they just confuse you. Okay. Um so we got a class for the for the player, a class for the world. And okay, this is for initializing the game. The display with the name and the dimension of the main surface. Then we have the clock, the walls, the list of the walls, and the player created with this player object. Then we got the list with this library in here. Maybe we can simplify it and. Uh, Let's make it this way. Let's delete this and this and this. Because I prefer this way. And then do split lines. And it's just the same. There we go. There's just one little change here. But you can avoid the first line and so everything is good and then I want there's also another way to make this uh, maybe you can well okay let's leave it this way you get to see here we get the E thing here that is uh, the red square and then we have this thing here um, transform this one into rectangles and into sprites world sprite the world is this one where is this is this one where it just um, appends uh, itself to the wall um, to this uh, list of wall And so the pi game is uh, the player is a rectangle here. This coordinates the start, and it will move with this thing here. You see that rect, rect um, this object here self direct it's a rectangle and it has an X and a Y and here he is checking the collision among the um, and he says if self rect collide rect so if uh, if his rectangle collides with the wall, so if the player collides with the wall, if the x if he is going towards right, and it's major than zero, so self rec right equal 
world dot rec left. So it means that it goes. This is intended to stop the. We can go here and do def coll collision Okay, so then we have this x and y equals zero for row and level for colon and column if column uh, is uh, is w, then it print the wall. If it's e, it uh, it prints this rectangle here and rect this the the red one, then x plus equal, and then goes and prints all the x plus equal, and when it ends, it goes up to 16. Let's say, let's, let's put an 18 here, just to see what happens. You see that? a little larger. The collision is the same. And so we should um, make it a little bigger. Um, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I think 40 and 60 should do the job. Alright, so we have made it a little different, maybe a little better. There is a little space here among this stuff, so but but nothing has really changed it. It's a little nicer maybe. We could also
Okay, so now we have a little of uh, Okay. This is just uh, the red dot. Instead, if you want to change the walls, You know, maybe it's nicer, maybe not. And 